Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a PayPal donation button. Okay, so to set up the PayPal donation button, I need to log into my PayPal account. I'm already logged in here. I'm going to go to tools and then all tools here. You can type into the search. If you can't find this thing here, it's called PayPal buttons. Just type in button here and hit enter and it will find you look for all of the different tools and it will give you this PayPal buttons here. Let's click open. After you click open, it's going to give you a result and it will show you all of the different buttons. If you've created add to basket buttons like I've shown you in previous tutorials or, or buy now buttons. But today we want to create a donation button. So we're going to click create new button here. And one thing to note, you need a PayPal business account. If you don't have a business account, you can't create the PayPal donate button. So in the shopping cart, we're going to select donations here. And it's going to redirect us to this new page. So you must select donations in that first drop down. And the first thing is going to ask me is the country region. I'm going to select United Kingdom. It's going to be English button. You can have it large or small. We're going to have it large. So it has like donate like this. And then um, you can actually use your own button image. If you've got a URL, you can put that URL in here and create your own sort of button. You can design that in Photoshop and have your own button, but you need to host that on your website, right? So we're going to use the default button for now because a lot of people recognize the orange and, and so forth, right? It's a recognizable color in terms of PayPal. So we'll click continue. And then it says, choose how to display your organization's name or logo. Enter a URL for your logo is optional. So I want to try and enter one. So what I'm going to do is go to my website dcpweb.co.uk I'm going to right click on my logo and do open in uh, let's see open image in new tab so this is actually the logo itself it might or might not work let's see what file formats it supports it supports jpeg png and such should work so I can't really use that because it's actually an svg file um, so let's use a different one let's go to my portfolio let's just we can just use a dummy one for now right it's just to, as an example to show you so let's go to uh, company logos and we'll use this one here, cherry box, right? Let's scroll down. We can right click on this and say, um, let's see, open image in new tab. So I can get the copy, copy the reference or the URL for that logo. So we're using that just as a demo. I'm probably going to delete this button once I'm done, but here you can see the logo now, right? So you need to host the image on your website. You should really host it on a HTTPS on a SSL uh, when you're hosting the image. So this is optional. It says it's optional. You don't have to put that there, right? But we'll use that. Uh, the organization name, we'll just put my company name there. The purpose, right? So let's say it's donations for a new computer, for example, right? Allow donors to choose a specific program for their donation. So choose yes to list uh, program donors can suggest for their donation. So if I click yes here, program name, allow donors to choose a specific specific programs for their donations. So choose yes to list program programs donors can suggest for their donations. So I'm not quite sure what that means. I normally leave this as no. Um, add at least one program. So probably, I think what this is, is um, I think what this allows you to do is allow the donor to select a specific, um, uh, a specific option. So imagine if you've got a PayPal donate button there, maybe they'll have the option. So let's write in here something like, um, uh, as an example, I'm going to put in wire, wireless keyboard, and then I'm going to click add and we'll do, let's try, um, let's say gaming keyboard. Let's test it. Let's find out exactly what's going on here. So there's two options in there. So in theory, when they go to donate, they should have be able to select from one of these two options, right? This is the purpose. And then there's two options. You can either donate for a wireless keyboard or donate for a gaming keyboard. As an example, let's click continue. And then it says the currency in donations. So you've got all these different currencies. Obviously it will make sense if you're American and you'll select USD. 
I'm in UK, so I'm going to select GDP, and then amount uh, donors can give. So you can either set a uh, set three optional amounts. So you can select any amount. So if you select any amount, the user can type in the amount that they want to uh, donate. Exact amount will be one specific amount only. Set three different amounts, right? So I'm going to say like one pound, uh, three pounds and five pounds for example you can put any other options in there you want any amounts of these three amounts so sometimes it's worth just telling the user this is the, the three amounts that you can choose from rather than getting them to uh, donate a random amount but again it's down to your own preference right there's no golden rule there you can but i'm going to try this because it's the most complex option that's available right or it can just be any amount or a one specific amount let donors make monthly reoccurring donations. So they could donate one pound every month for 12 months if they want it, or three pound every month for 12 months, or just continuously, right? So we'll say, yeah, why not? Let's let them uh, pay monthly for this donation. Let's click continue. It says get information from donors. Receive donors mailing, mailing address. Yes, donors may choose not to share their address. You may only use donors addresses in accordance with PayPal's so let's just say um, you want to get the person's email address. Once you've got their email address, you can send them an email saying thank you or something like this, or give them an update. Uh, maybe you send them an email and say, look, here's my fantastic new keyboard. Thanks for your donation and everyone that donated. Here is um, the keyboard that I actually purchased, proof of purchase almost, right? To show them that you actually bought the thing that you say you was going to do. In this example, I'm saying keyboard, that's not really a sensible thing to, to ask for donations for. Maybe you could do a donation to support your YouTube channel, for example, right? So uh, you can say people donate and then that, that gives me some more funds to invest more time to make more YouTube videos or something like that. Maybe something along these lines. Or if you're a gaming channel, you may want to get donations so that you can buy a game and then you can demo that game on your website or on your YouTube channel, for example. Let donors send optional note with you uh, with optional note to you with their donation so why not they might want to write a comment you know, you know you make loads of fantastic YouTube videos thanks for doing that here's your donation uh, I'm donating to you uh, root donor back to your site so take donor donor to this page if they cancel a donation before completing so if I go to my website as an example normally I'll create two separate pages here right on my website one will be for um, uh, if they cancel so normally it wouldn't really be contact.html normally it'd be like cancel.html uh, and if they cancel I'll take them to this page so let's try that let's put that one in there and it says take donor to this URL once they've completed the donation so maybe we'll take them to something like uh, inquiry confirmation so again I would have created a proper page saying thank you for your donation uh, you know your, your money's going to a good cause uh, for whatever whatever that might be and I'll take them to this page here rather than just taking them to some random page on my website and it even says here like completed right but my one just says confirmation here set account identifier normally I'll just use leave this as the default merchant account so just leave that as it is add extra HTML button variables advanced so this is a bit technical but in theory you could um, add other variables into the PayPal button and then you can receive those variables back so it might be something to do with your channel name for example your YouTube channel name something like that we'll click finish and get code now here's the code so you can share this in three different ways you can create a button and we're going to add that to the website so I'm going to copy this copy all of this information copy it and put it into a notepad file just for the moment then it says shareable link so we can copy this link and we could email it to people or you could put this link in your YouTube description or one of your social media accounts or put it in your email signature or put it somewhere to say click this button if you want to donate right and then you've got a QR code so you can copy this you can download this QR code let's click download and then you can put that QR code uh, maybe in some in some leaflet design or on your um, you could even put that into a video on your YouTube channel right so the video is playing you can say pause this video use this QR code to donate or something like this or you could put it in some artwork you can put it on your website you can put it in loads of different places it's just a QR code to be honest I don't know anyone that uses QR codes anymore it's very very I don't know I've never, I hardly ever used them to be fair 
it just seems a bit crazy to pull out your phone and take a photo to get to, to get to a website when you could already be on a website and just click a button to get there anyway but you know some people might use QR codes just because I don't use them doesn't mean no one else uses them doesn't use them so we've got the code the button here and that's the main thing that we want to focus on so I'm gonna to go to my website and I'm gonna log into my control panel because we're gonna test this button now so let's just log into my control panel here so I'm in my admin and in this case I'm going to add it to a news item so I really want to add it to a, a live page on on the main page so we've got this um, let's go to my website let's go to the news items and the last one I did was DCP completes home loan guys lead generation website so here's a website here's the image and all that good stuff so I'm going to go to this news item edit it and we can see the uh, let's see this is the description here's the actual content right so what I want to do is go to the source code and I'm gonna put the PayPal button here so let me just put um, a line break here and I'm gonna put the PayPal code underneath so let's take this code this just this button code here and I'm going to paste it here and then I'm going to put in another line break and I'm going to write in here now uh, you can see the PayPal button right here it is so we're going to test that in a moment but underneath what I'll do here is uh, let's see right here I'm going to say click here to make a donation and I'm going to on the source code so now I've got the PayPal button here and I've got this line of text the reason why I wrote this line of text is I can go back to that notepad file and I can copy this URL so I want to show you both methods right there's a graphic visual method and then you could write some written content if you're interested in making a donation to uh, my website then click here right and it will just say like click here to make a donation so let's copy let's highlight that text let's make it a link and we'll paste in this URL and we'll target a new window for that one let's click ok and let's save this now when we go to this uh this uh, news item and refresh it we're going to see the paypal button here and we're going to see the click here to make donation so let's try that one first let's click here to make donation I might need to log out of my PayPal account. I don't need to log out actually. So look, here you can see the logo. You can see donate to different color productions, purpose of the donation. Uh, you can see like one pound, two, three pound, whatever the amount is. And there's still an other amount as well. That's quite a nice feature. So they can either click one, two, or one, three, or five pound, or actually type in a number here. So they could type in, I don't know, a hundred pound if they want, or 10 pound, for example, right? So they're going to donate 10 quid. Then this is the drop down, right? Are they donating for the wireless keyboard or the gaming keyboard? It's for the gaming keyboard. Do they want to pay monthly? They're going to pay monthly. You are authorizing PayPal to pay different color productions limited each month. Uh, you can change your cancel this in the recurring billing. Uh, don't have a PayPal account. You can sign up or you can donate with a card here. You can cancel, right? So there you can see it working. So if I click this cancel button, it should in theory take me to the contact page. So let's cancel. And then look, it's taken me to the contact page because that's what we told, remember in the button configuration, we said take it to the contact page if they cancel. If I close this, we're back to the original page here with the button. So we've tried this link, now let's try the actual donate button here. And it should do exactly the same thing. Let's see. So here it is, the logo, everything is here. We can select three pounds. We can donate for the gaming keyboard, make it a monthly payment. I'm not actually gonna do the payment because then it will start taking money from my account and I'm going to end up paying money from my, my own account back to myself, which makes no sense. So we'll click cancel. This, that's, that's it pretty much done. We can go back to the PayPal here and we can go to uh, my saved buttons here. And when we go to my saved buttons, it's actually going to ask me to log in, right? So let me just log in here one second. I don't really want to show my password when I'm logging in. It would be wise, right? This QR code thing, I'm just going to drag and drop it in this folder for now. And here I'm logged back into my PayPal account. Here's my save buttons. Here's the donate button. 
And if you want to create another donate button, which is pretty much the same, but some slight changes, you can click on action and then uh, you can say, you can click here and say create similar button. And it will go and create another button with all of the features that your original button had. And then you may want to say donation for something different and have some slightly different options in there, right? And you can click here to view the code. Uh, you can edit the button here. You can create a completely new button. You can delete the button. So if you just want to view this, the code to embed it, you can click here. And it will take you to back to that same place where you can see the code for the button. Let's go to tools and all tools again. I'm going to click open here. And finally, I'm going to click action and delete this button. I don't, I don't need any sort of donations. Uh, that was just all made up stuff. So now I'm back to my original page with no buttons, right? I'm going to go here. I'm going to click on the edit button here. Go back to the source code. And I'm going to delete all of this stuff here. Relate to that PayPal button because it was just a test. Let's go down and save it. And let's just check that's already been deleted from that page. And then we're pretty much done, right? Yeah, we don't see the PayPal button no more. Okay, so that's it all done. That's how you go about creating a PayPal donation button. Remember, you need a business account in order to do that. So my advice is keep your personal account on PayPal personal and create a separate business account. I kind of like having my business and my personal account for PayPal completely separated. That's my advice to you. I don't know if it's the best advice, but that's how I've been doing it for years and it seems to work well for me. That way, all of your personal transactions stay in your personal PayPal account and anything related to your business stays in a separate business PayPal account. That way, when it comes to doing your banking, your business account accounts, or anything like that, all your business stuff is separated away from your personal. I think that's a wise thing to do. Okay, that's the end of this tutorial. I hope you find it useful and I look forward to seeing you on the next DCP web tutorial.